to Space Explorers. Today, we're going on an amazing adventure to learn about the planets in our solar system. Let's go. First, let's meet the sun. The sun is a giant star at the center of our solar system. It's super hot and gives us light and warmth. Without the sun, there would be no life on Earth. Here's Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun and the smallest planet in our solar system. It's covered in craters, just like our moon, and has no atmosphere to protect it from the sun's heat and space's cold. Next up is Venus. Venus is the hottest planet because of its thick, toxic atmosphere made mostly of carbon dioxide. It's often called Earth's sister planet because they're similar in size, but Venus is much more hostile with its extreme temperatures and acidic clouds. Now we see our home, Earth. Earth is the only planet known to have life. It's covered with oceans, forests, mountains, and deserts. Earth has just the right conditions for us to live, thanks to its perfect distance from the sun. Here comes Mars. Mars is known as the red planet because of its reddish soil. It has the tallest volcano, Olympus Mons, and the deepest canyon, Valles Marineris, in our solar system. Scientists are very interested in Mars because it might have had water long ago. Look at Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It's a gas giant with a big storm called the Great Red Spot that's been raging for centuries. Jupiter has many moons, including Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system. Next, we see Saturn. Saturn is famous for its beautiful rings made of ice and rock. It's also a gas giant like Jupiter. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, has a thick atmosphere and lakes of liquid methane. Uranus? Uranus is unique because it rotates on its side. It's an ice giant with a blue-green color due to its methane gas. Uranus also has faint rings and many moons. Now we see Neptune. Neptune is another ice giant, and it's known for its deep blue color. It has strong winds and storms, including the Great Dark Spot, which is similar to Jupiter's Great Red Spot. Neptune also has faint rings and 14 known moons. And finally, here's Pluto. Pluto used to be considered the ninth planet, but now it's classified as a dwarf planet. It's small and icy, far away from the sun. Pluto has a heart-shaped glacier and five moons, with Terran being the largest. What an amazing journey we've had through our solar system. We've seen the sun, all the planets, and even a dwarf planet. Each one is unique and fascinating in its own way. There's so much more to explore in space. Thanks for joining us on this space adventure. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Space Explorers episodes. See you next time.